Hi, this is Darren from Macquarie Warren Singapore and welcome to another episode of Macquarie Warren's Market View. In this series, hear first hand from Singapore's investment strategies as they share their views on markets in the coming weeks. For this episode, we have Con Hao, Director of Waypedia and SGX Academy Trainer, who will share his views on the Singapore and global markets for this month. Welcome back to our fifth video. Since our first video, I have not set my focus away from S&P quarterly chart ending much. It indicated bearishness for the longer term outlook. However, that does not mean there is no intermittent buying opportunity. During our second video, we identified a short term reversal up signal and since then it has reached its high at 3231 on the 8th of June. At the same time, in our last delivery, we spotted a reversal down signal. As the market moves along its timeline, on the third week of July, it seems to have broken above the reversal down signal discussed. But take a closer look, it was a false break. Therefore, our studies on the potential reversal down signal for the S&P, it is still intact. For the local stock, in our initial delivery, we discussed into the short-term bull of DBS, OCBC and Maple Tree Commercial Trust. And since then, they have all behaved as expected. We saw both DBS and OCBC reached their high on the 9th of June. Also, Maple Tree Commercial Trust reached its high on the 10th of June. In our last video, we discussed about the potential reversal down for DBS at the close of the fourth week of June. And it is now trending lower, and I believe there is room for slightly more downside. Stay safe and have a profitable weeks ahead and always have a measured risk. I hope Conhouse Insights have provided you with actionable strategies to trade the current market. Investors keen to trade the S&P in the short term may consider doing so via S&P warrants. Call warrants move in line with the underlying they follow, meaning if the underlying stock or index went up, so will the call warrants. Put warrants move inversely from the underlying and will increase in price when the underlying stock or index falls. While these warrants track the S&P futures listed on a US exchange, the S&P warrants are traded and listed on the SJX in Singapore dollars. Our S&P warrants trade from 9am to 5pm following the same opening hours of the SJX. These warrants in the table above are the current trending warrants with high liquidity, on tight spreads and provide the best sensitivity. You will observe from the warrants performance that they have moved more than the S&P 7% price move. This is due to the effective gearing feature embedded in warrants. A warrant's effective gearing figure refers to how much more a warrant may move in response to the moves in the underlying day track. If a warrant had an effective gearing of 10 times, it means the warrant will move around 10% for every 1% move in the underlying share or index it tracks. The gearing effect is one of the reasons that make warrants popular. But notes that gearing can work both ways, meaning warrants will also move in a bigger magnitude or percentage change than a percentage change move in the underlying should you get your view wrong. After reaching a 3-month high of $23.09 on 8 June, DBS's share price steadily declined 14% to close at $19.77 on the last trading day of July. On the back of this move, DBS call REWW fell 65%, while DBS put ZTOW gained 77%. Investors may wish to keep their eyes peeled for more moves in their local banks, particularly following MAS's advice for banks to cap their dividends. DBS is set to announce its quarterly earnings alongside UOB on 6 August, following with OCBC on 7 August. So how do people trade structured warrants? Listed on the SGX, structured warrants can be traded via your brokerage account just like how you trade shares. Meanwhile, Warren issuers like Macquarie provide continuous Warren buy and sell prices to ensure that Warren investors can easily enter and exit from Warren positions. So, contact your broker to start trading Warrens today. For further details on trading Warrens and to find out if you're qualified to trade Warrens, 
click on the link in the description, or feel free to contact us at our Warren hotline. Lastly, don't miss out on the next video and exciting Warren news by subscribing to our channels on YouTube, Telegram, and Facebook.